it's Sunset Lambs here, and today I'm going to be doing part four of the um, flamingo, where I will be doing attaching the legs, wings, head, finishing the body. I'm really sorry this has taken basically months to upload. It's not because of the design being hard. Honestly, I could have designed this in two days if I wanted to, but um, it's because I've been in school and I've had a lot of homework and I've been kind of stressed out from that lately. So that's what's been happening and I'm really sorry if I've been leaving you guys in the dark and not letting you and not posting much. Um, I've been going to try to post more now. Um, I'm gonna start on the dragon immediately after I post this. So um, thank you guys for still watching and subscribing while I'm gone, but I'll be trying to work more diligently now. So let's get started with the video. In the last video we left off with the three rows of singles, which I'm using a different pink now. You don't have, you don't use a different pink if you are able to. I'm just using a different one because I don't have enough of this color. Um, okay, so now you're just going to go in and you're going to do a single, single decrease pattern. So just go on the first one, bring a single band through, through do a single crochet, go on the second one. Don't mind my messy hand, I have highlighter on it. <laughs> Two single crochets. Then you're going to go into your fourth loop the back loop of your fourth loop and the then the back loop of your third loop pull a band through and make a decrease do this the whole way around and come back to me when you're done you've done this row of decreases you're going to move on to um doing a single decrease pattern so go into your first stitch bring a band through single crochet and then go in your third band, back loop, second band, back loop, pull a band through in a single crochet motion in order to get your decrease. Do that the whole way around and come back to me when you are done. Okay, so Dawn is here with me now because um, that happens sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now what you're going to do is you're going to attach the legs onto your flamingo. Oh so all you have to do is take your legs, which I already have a band for attaching on them, you find where you want to place them, then you're going to take your hook, go inside the body, find the edge of where your band that you're going to use to attach it is. Don't mind John's aggressive typing. <laughs> go in that hole, bring your hook out the next one over. I'm just trying. Grab another one, grab the other one, pull it through. Then once you're, you have both loops of the leg inside, you're just gonna make a slip knot. And then find a placing for the other one, do the exact same thing, and that's how you're gonna attach your legs. Come back to me when you're um, Now you're gonna work on attaching the head. You're gonna go in through your body like this. Grab your hook. Find where you wanna place your head. It looks really weird, but you know, whatever. Go out through one of the holes in the body where you want your head to be. Make sure you have it placed at the right angle that you want it to be. Then you're going to take your hook, stick it through there. Through one of the loops around the base of the neck. Bring a band through. Go outside in a different loop, grab the other end, and pull the band through, and then slip knot it. Yeah. Dawn just said, yeah. Now, slip knot it, children. Okay then. So now that you've done that, you're gonna do that all the way around. Just keep like anchoring them down to the body and I'll show you what to do next once you're done with that patch. You're gonna start filling the body with stuffing. Just put some in and then you then we can continue with increasing the length of the body. So 
Make sure you stuff it really full so the head can stay up straight. Well, at least try to. <laughs> okay, now that you're done with that, you're gonna take your hook. Oh, goodness gracious, I dropped it. You're gonna go inside your band that is holding your like stitch marker. And then you're going to do single crochets around for two, no, three rounds. Do three single crochet rounds the whole way around and come back to me when you're done. So now that you've done those rows of single crochets, you're going to start decreasing again. This row, you're going to do another single, single, uh, I cannot speak today, single decrease row. So just do one single crochet, then go in the back of the third loop, then the back of the second loop, and do a single crochet inside of there. And that will give you your decrease. Do this the whole way around, and then you'll be done with that row. Come back to me when you're done. Now you're going to do that again, single decrease the whole way around. Come back to me when you're done. Close off your body by taking the last stitch. It's pretty much closed already, but you still need to tie it off. Go in a random stitch at the very end of your tail. A random stitch? Oh my gosh, Dawn. And just pull a, ran pull a band through and then slip knot it. Take out your stitch marker or C-clip or S-clip, and then you're going to tuck this last band inside. Why is his neck so long? I didn't expect it to look like that, like I swear. Okay, now you're going to attach your wing. Your wings, I only made one wing because I didn't have enough bands, but you have to make two, obviously, if you want to complete the design. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why I'm losing my voice. You go in, you go in a stitch where you want to place your um, wing, and you're going to pull a singular band through. And then you're going to go inside of your wing and pick a stitch, like in the back here. And then grab one of the loops of this band that you placed and pull it through. Then go around, grab the other end, and then you're going to slip knot it, and then you're going to keep doing that the whole way down, but you're going to hold on to these, so you're going to do like single crochet type things, so you're just going to keep doing that. Pull a band through. Go find a stitch inside this. Pull one end through, then you're going to grab onto the, oh, oops, well, you get the point. You're going to go in, grab it, pull it through, grab onto your extra loose band here, so you have two loops on this one, grab onto your other end of this, this stitch, and then slip knot it. Come back to me once you've done that the whole way down and your wing is thoroughly start so thoroughly. You've attached your wings, you have officially finished your design after you've tucked in your extra bands. I only attached one wing because um, I don't really have the time or the amount of bands to do so. I think it'll look very good when it's sitting. It looks kind of cute. I think this is actually a pretty good final product in my opinion after how much how hard this design was. I think it's pretty pretty decent for this hard of a design. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like, the subscribe, and the little notification bell so you get all the notifications for new videos that I'm going to be placing, putting out this weekend and next weekend. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!